New York City is the number one city in the world with the most millionaires. Today, we're going to be walking around Manhattan asking multi-millionaires how they got rich and how you and I can become as successful as they are. Hey man, can we get you in a quick YouTube video? Sorry, Mike. Are you a millionaire? I'm good, thanks. Am I what? A millionaire. No. No, I'm not. Are you a millionaire? No. Are you a millionaire? No. So what do you do? Ignore you. Damn. There's millionaires out here, but they're not taking me serious. Like, look at my feel right now. We're not looking like millionaires. These millionaires don't want to talk to brokies. So we gotta, we gotta up the scale a little bit. We gotta change. You know what I'm saying? Spawned with the, with the good Burberry cologne. So now I think we're gonna have some success. Let's go. Okay, so what do you do for a living? Real estate developer. So if you could share like a range or like the exact number, whatever you're comfortable with, what's like the most amount of money that you've ever made in one year doing what you do? I would say roughly 25 million. How long have you been doing that? About five years. And what got you into it? Uh, family business. You went to college or? I didn't even graduate high school. High Damn. school dropout and uh, went from there. You gotta make it on your own. So what's like the best financial advice you've ever received throughout your entire life? As soon as you fall down, you get back up and keep going. It's, it's a push. No, one's gonna, no, one's, no one believes in you more than yourself. So what's one piece of advice, if you can go back to when you first started your business, what's one piece of advice you would tell to your younger self? Tell myself to keep hustling and uh, God provides the rest. You'll be taken care of. Do you have to do what you love in order to become successful? Doing what you love is more enjoyable, but you could do anything and become successful with dealing with whatever it is. Keep trying different things till one thing works. And once it works, you then you stick to that thing and you keep going. So what do you do for a living? I own a car dealership. So what's the most amount of money that you've ever made in one year? Damn. Like range. Give me a range or something. Four and a half million. Four and a half million. So what's the best piece of financial advice you've ever received? Work for yourself. So you stick to that? I stick to that. If you could go back to when you first started, what's that, some advice that you would give to yourself? Don't take yourself so seriously, man. Do you have to do what you love in order to become successful? No, I hate car business. Really? Yeah. So how'd you get into it then? By accident. One of my friends was in the business, he pulled me into it, and the money was good, and I stayed, and I grew, and that's what happened. So what's some advice that you would give to some people trying to get into your industry? Do what you're good at. If you're good at my industry, if you're good at sales, do it. I work on Wall Street. I'm a banker, investment banker, registered rep. I'm also the New York City Comptroller. I won the election in 2021. So if you're comfortable sharing a range or the number of like how the most money you've ever made in one year, could you give us like a range of something like that? Uh, I firmly believe that success puts a proper price on its goods and millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. So how long have you been doing what you do now? Banking, sales, all together, 20 years. Um, specifically at Spartan Capital, 15 years. So if you could go back to when you first started your journey, what's one thing that you would tell your younger self? Never ever hang up the phone. Take every single person right to the close because again, success puts a proper price on its goods. Do you have to love what you do in order to become oh, successful? Absolutely. You gotta eat, live, breathe it, smell it, wake up every day. When it's hard is when it's the best. Because then you think back about you know what has happened, what took you from there to go where you are now. It makes all the difference in the world. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. You could give the range of salary that someone would make in your field or like the most money you've made in a year. Seven figures. They go to millions? Yes. How long have you been doing that? Uh, about 20 years. So you went to college, I'm sure? Yeah, you have to go to college. They make you go to college, yeah. And how long was that? College, four years. But then you got to med school. Oh, and what is that, seven? That's med school four, four more. And then residencies, five, and then fellowships, one. So what's one piece of advice that you would give yourself you go back and talk to your younger self, like when you first started? Don't go to medical school, <laughs> go to business school. I think that's it, yeah, that's it. Go to Silicon Valley, probably. You know, get a job in tech. Medicine's great. I actually do medicine. I do medical robotics. So I have a I have a startup company that does that is developing a robot that does hip and knee replacement. It's called Monogram Orthopedics. Well, what advice would you give to younger people trying to get rich? Have fun doing what you're doing, man. Okay, do do something stimulating that you have fun with because. If you're not into it, you're just not going to be successful. How many hours a week do you work? Not so bad now. I would say probably 50. 50 a week? Yeah, not bad. And what about when you first started? 80. A lot. A lot. You work a lot. Yo, you guys are not going to believe who's right behind me. Like, I'm like 50-50 I'm like if that's even him. But if it's him, this is about to be a crazy video. He just walked in the Rolex store, but we're going to try to get him for the video. Okay, so what's your name and what do you do for a living? My name is Kevin O'Leary, a.k.a. Mr. Wonderful, and I'm an investor. Kevin O'Leary. Kevin O'Leary. Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful. You're working for me to make money. I invest in guys like you. And how long have you been doing that? Long time. Over 20 years. What's the most amount of money you've ever made in a single year? A good year is a positive year, but I also lose money. What you have to understand about venture capital is sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. The whole idea is to get it right more often than you get it wrong and make your winners pay for your mistakes. I always try and do between 10 and 17 deals a year. I hope that three to four work out and pay for all the losers. And just so you know, 
Whatever I think is going to work is usually not the one that works. When you invest, you take risks. And that's why you need diversity. I'm always trying to do multiple things because diversification is the only free lunch in investing. That's why I don't own just one stock. I own multiple stocks, but when I do investments in entrepreneurs, I make a lot of bets. So what's the best piece of financial advice you've ever received throughout your lifetime? Never own more than 5% of your portfolio in any one stock and never more than 20% in any one sector. So you have to make sure that you have a diversified portfolio, never more than 5% in a stock, never more than 20% in a sector. And when the market goes up and down, you won't get hurt. If you could go back to when you first started your business, what's one thing you would tell your younger self? Don't buy all that shit you didn't need. I wish I'd not bought all the crap I bought and I wish I'd put it into the stock market 30 years ago because it would be worth much more than the jeans I threw away. You don't need 15 pairs of jeans or 40 sneakers. Put the rest in the market and stop wasting cash. That's what I've said myself. And last question, do you have to do what you love in order to become successful? Great question, and the answer is yes. I work 25 hours a day, eight days a week, because I love it. If I hated it, I don't think you could be successful. It's not about the greed of money. It's the pursuit of personal freedom. And lastly, when you have a great outcome, one of your companies works out, or your investment, or you get a job, what I do is always buy myself a new watch. This is the Emoji Puzzle Watch. There's only known to be three of them in America. I've worked really hard in the last month and achieved a few things I thought I'd never achieve, and I awarded myself this watch. Every watch I own has a story. It's very personal for me. I never sell them because it, it's a milestone in my life. Never, ever borrow money to buy a watch. If you didn't earn it, do not buy the watch. You heard it from Mr. Wonderful. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but that's Kevin O'Leary, a.k.a. Mr. Wonderful. He's on Shark Tank, one of the biggest personalities. He's also worth probably like half a bill. I invested like $3,000 in this camera, and that got me into the position to make all these videos and to meet these these millionaires. Like, There's a few millionaires where you have to pay 50 k a day to even talk to them, and we're doing this for free. Pick a hustle and stick with it, man, because it's going to work out eventually. All right, now we're going to be going to Diamond District, try to get some jewelers over there. I know there's like a bunch of famous jewelers. So we just made our way uptown to 47th Street in New York City in the Diamond District. Right now we're at Tracks NYC. This guy is known for doing, look, they filmed Uncut Gems here. He works with like a whole bunch of celebrities. So we're gonna go interview him, see what he does, see how much money they make per year. And let's go, let's go see if we can get him. My name is Maksud Agajani, and I own this jewelry store right here. And how long have you been doing that? Uh, 19 years almost. How'd you get into it? I'm uh, installing a Counter-Strike on my friend's computer. Somebody noticed me and installing, and then I had a little internship. I found a jewelry store, long story short. I started photographing jewelry there and putting it up on eBay. We know you've worked with like a whole bunch of celebrities, and there's a whole bunch of jewelry stores over here. Right. So what like separated you from everybody else? Well, I guess it's my style of business and my staff, my collection of jewelry and how I market on social media. What's like the most you've ever made in one year from this business? We sell close to $40 million uh, of jewelry per year. So what's the best piece of financial advice you've ever received throughout your lifetime? The battle is within. People are looking what to do or what to do and, and, and you know what decisions or whatever it is. The battle is within. You have to fix your own behavior, your own mistakes, and then the output will be much better. So if you could go back to when you first started your business, what's one thing you would tell your younger self? Um, use your reasoning to make decisions. Abandon all fear, abandon all doubt. If you fine tune your reasoning, things will work out. It's a, it's the It gives you the capacity to predict the future. It's not about positive thinking or manifestation or a bunch of other dumb nonsense. It's about making careful choices based on, uh, uh, you know, a smart analysis and it's going to have a fantastic result. And what advice would you give to younger people and entrepreneurs trying to come up and trying to get wealthy and rich like you? So what you want to do is you want to watch this channel, then you want to watch Warren Buffett, then you want to watch some old Steve Jobs interviews, then you want to watch, you know, something Elon Musk is saying, and then you want to keep watching that and you want to put in three hours a day. And if you put in three hours a day doing that you're gonna be smarter than anybody in college or anybody going to school or anything like that my name is uh, Moses the jeweler and I buy and sell jewelry watches create high-end jewelry and have fun with life how long have you been doing that 
uh, close to a decade now. What got you into it? Have you done other jobs have you, or have you always been in jewelry? I used to be an incredible sandwich maker. I used to make the best sandwiches in the world for $8 an hour. And then uh, I did real estate for a little bit and then I joined the jewelry game when I was uh, 18 years old. So what's the best piece of financial advice that you've ever received throughout your lifetime or your career? Don't look at the money. Uh, look at yourself. Be the best version that you could be. Don't only focus on the business. Everyone only, you know, they think money, 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 money. When you start chasing money, money runs away from you. Become the best you and money comes to you. Be likable, people will shop with you, money will get attracted to you. Be an attractive person, you'll attract money. If you could share like a range or what you've made, like the most money you've ever made in one year. Uh, whatever, thank God, thank God I have, I got. Seven, maybe seven figures? Uh, yeah, around that. Around uh, that. Uh, yeah. Whatever, somewhere in the ballpark. We don't say the exact number though, we'll keep it low-key. Yeah. So if you go back to when you first started your career, what's one thing you would tell you, your younger self? Honestly, I don't even know if I would say anything. I would just, uh, I feel like I was always in the right mindset from a young age. Um, and again, it was always just to be loving and just to be the best version that you could be. Don't try to be like anyone else. Do you have to do what you love in order to become successful? 100%. Because uh, when you do what you love, you wake up in the morning. You don't negotiate with yourself in the morning. You don't say, oh, I'm not going to do this or not. When you do what you love, you wake up in the morning, you say, okay, I'm consistently going to do what I do forever. And what advice would you give to younger people trying to get rich like you? Work hard and uh, follow in God's footsteps. Thank God for every single thing that you have. Uh, gratitude will get you very far. God's impacted your life significantly? Uh, everything is from God. I wouldn't have anything without God. So what do you guys do for a living? Uh, I'm a watch dealer. and I sell jewelry. How old are you guys? I'm uh, 15, surprisingly. 15? Guess yeah. how old I am. 17 16 16 okay I started off by like asking people yo can I just borrow this watch and then I'll show it to another person that wanted to sell it like that it wasn't even mine at one point so I started making my own money and stuff like that so I was able to gather up my money I'm not a millionaire yet but like you know I'm coming close to that point sometime coming here like a year ago I started coming to random people and like I was started making videos like I was a videographer I was making full-on videos of the store and everything and people started liking my work so I was like, you know what? I don't even want to go to school. Stand up block. I'm gonna stand up block. I'm gonna start making videos. People started liking them, and I was like, you know what? I think I want to take it a little further. I'm just focusing on diamonds and chains and bracelets and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So, what's the most amount of money you guys ever made in one year? I want to keep that a little low key because I don't want to like put it out there. I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. I made a sale one time. One time, I made a sale and profit. We were looking at like seven grand. Seven grand? In one day. One day, yes. at 16. It's possible, it's very possible. If you come to this business right now and you think it's easy, it's all about connections. Because if you don't know anybody on this block, you're not gonna have an easy time. But if you know some people, you're gonna be, you're gonna do good. Show almost on the wrist, okay. What is this? It's actually pretty cheap. I'm gonna sell it for like 8,000. If you're not a hard worker, don't come here. If you know that you know what you're doing and you wanna come here and make money, flip something, do it. This is really the city of dreams. Like all we have to do is buy a camera and get a mic and we're over here interviewing multi, multi-millionaires. Like I think Kevin O'Leary is worth like almost a billion dollars. I don't have a course and I don't have any product to sell you guys right now. I just want you guys to get rich just like we want to get rich. So if you guys want to follow us on our journey because we're going to be interviewing a whole bunch of multi-millionaires across different states in America and all across the world. If you guys want to follow us on that journey, subscribe down below. If not, I still appreciate you guys for watching the video and I hope you gained something out of it. I hope to see you guys in the next video if you guys want to come back.